reliability is really important in healthcare today. A lot of changes, turbulent times, mostly caused by the Affordable Care Act, the development of accountable care organizations, and the transition from fee-for-service to value-based purchasing. So everybody in healthcare is feeling stressed and anxious and frustrated. And that's why I think accountability is really especially important today when we're undergoing a transformation of the clinical delivery system. I mean, they call them accountable care organizations for a reason, but if you look at the Affordable Care Act, the Obamacare law, there's a lot of things in there where we're gonna to have to be more transparent, we're gonna be held accountable for metrics, both on cost and on quality. So one way to think about it is what's called the triple aim. So the triple aim is just a way to try to organize your thoughts around what's happening with the transformation of the clinical delivery system. And the triple aim is improving the patient experience, decreasing the per capita cost of care, and doing more population health. If you look at the Oz theory, they talk about above the line thinking and below the line thinking. And above the line thinking is that no matter what the problem is, you've probably contributed to it if you're involved in it. And you can change your behaviors even if nobody else changes theirs. So holding yourself accountable is really important in order to understand why you have an issue, why you have a problem in the first place. Because really, if you think about it, the problem is, is that you experience these issues differently than the people that you have to work with. And taking, putting the patient first will only work if nurses and respiratory therapists and even janitors and doctors and administrators all really do whatever they can to solve the problem at hand so the patient gets excellent care. Well, interpersonal mush is actually a term that's used in the clear leadership concept. And what it means is that because we're afraid of confronting each other, because we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, we don't really say what we really think. And so you'll often have meetings where people agree with the CEO or agree with the chief medical officer, but they really don't agree. And how could you agree when everything's changing? So the fact that there's conflict or people have difference of opinion is to be expected and not to be stymied.